Hello and welcome to Coffee is for Closers. I'm your host, Tim Brigham, and what an incredible year we're coming off of. We're back, but everybody's still reeling from one of the worst markets we've seen in 30 years. This is your chance to look at who the top producers were for 2023. This is your top producer report. And let's start off with the West. These are your top producers with transactions specifically closing in the Western suburbs. Now, Per Emirate, if you were to pull their actual numbers, you may see a variance in, in the number of transactions, but that's the total. This is specifically in the West. Start off the list. We got Patty Murray with 54. Tying Patty, we got Kelly Stetler with 54. Tom Fosnott with 65. Lance Kems with 81. And the leader of the pack for 2023 in the Western suburbs, Tim Schiller with 153 transactions. Great job. Heading south. These are your top producers who had transactions specifically closing in the Southwest suburbs. Now note, if you pulled the total, vo total amount of units, you may see a variance, but it has to do with the whole number. These are specifically focused Southwest suburbs. Starting out the list, Brian Bamba with 58. Kim Delasky with 68. Don McKenna, 72. Patricia Wardlow with 75 and the outstanding work by Catherine Beer with a total of 88 and the leader of the pack for 2023. Congratulations, fantastic work. Popping out to the Northwest suburbs. These are your top producers who had transactions that specifically closed in the Northwest burbs. Please note, if you looked up the agent's total numbers, you may see a variance because that's everywhere. This is just the Northwest suburbs. So starting off the list, Sarah Leonard with 81 transactions. The lovely Holly Connors with 88 transactions. My buddy Craig Falico with 96. Jane Lee with 99. And the leader of the pack for 2023 in the Northwest suburbs, Maria Del Bacchio with 100 transactions. Fantastic work, everyone. Popping out to the North Shore. These are the top producers for 2023 that closed transactions specifically in North Shore. Now, please note, if you went to this agent's individual numbers, you may see a variance because that's total. This is specifically just North Shore. So starting off the list, we got Pam McPherson with 50. Jane Lee with 51. Paige Dooley with 52. Coming number two is Jenna Radney with also 52. And the leader of the pack for 2023 in the North Shore, Connie Dornan with 76 transactions. Fantastic work, everybody. And here it is, the moment we've all been waiting for. Who are the top producers in Chicago for 2023? Now, before we get started, please note, these numbers are just Chicago. We all know that the individual numbers for these agents may have a variance, but this is specifically to Chicago and transactions that closed in Chicago. Starting off the list, we got Jeff Lowe with 155 transactions. Lee Marcus. 182. Ben Lales, 227. Greg Pekarski with 230. And as always, the leader of Chicago for 2023, Matt Laracy with 398 units. Now again, these are total in just Chicago. You will see a variance outside if you pull the, the, the total numbers in Cook County or state of Illinois. What's next for Coffee is for Closers in 2024? I can tell you that I have the most incredible interviews with the people that you want to hear from. These are the ones that have stayed consistent, but also overcome things that I bet you had no idea. I'm honored to tell their story of what a real pro top producer looks like and what they've been through. This is a community. Don't be afraid to comment down below and let us know what you want to hear about right? If there's a topic that you think we should cover, we'd love to hear from you. Also, if you know of somebody who would be a great fit for the show, please nominate them. We would love to hear about it. But as always, I'm your host, Tim Brigham. Thank you so much for watching, and we'd love your support. Please click the subscribe button down below so we can keep doing this. We appreciate you.